Okay, so I found this, uh, or I have this spreadsheet that has a bunch of a uh, bunch of links that I need to convert, right? And or that I need to extract. And the problem is that there's no formula in the cell itself. Uh, this is pulled from Excel and then uploaded here. So how do we get this out? I have not seen a good answer to this. I have seen an answer that's saying all you have to do is go through the cells and grab the formula as well. I don't have a formula. The link is embedded in here. So how do I get that out? Well, I found the solution. So we go to script editor, create a new script, and let's uh, get started. So first things first, we need to identify the sheet that we're after. So let's just give it a name here or a variable. Capital S spreadsheet app uh, open by ID. And that ID is going to be right here in your spreadsheet. So let's grab that out, drop it here. Now we need a reference to the sheet that we're actually targeting. Uh, so we'll call this report, get sheet by name. And the name of this sheet is report, I think. Yes. And we will now want to create a function, convert links, and let's name our sheet here. All right, so now we need to know what column we're after. So here you can see we're after column U. Um, the header on that is resume. I like to use methods that just target the header rather than specifying the specific column I'm after so that uh, these things are more flexible. So I'm going to say our table equals report get range. The range I'm after is row one, column one. And the last, the furthest row down that we have data, the f and furthest row across that we have data. So we can say report, get last row, report, get last column. And finally, get values. Um, I'm going to make this into a proper array, I think. And then I want to um, I want to get the the target column that I'm after. So I can do that by saying column number is the value I'm going or the uh, variable name I'm going to give this. And we'll say uh, table. I want the first item in the table, which is going to be the header in this case. So it'll be the first row. And then I'm going to say um, Iterate because that'll be an, ar an array itself. So I can say index of. So this is ES6 stuff, and luckily Google Apps Script now supports ES6 via the Chrome V8 engine, which is fantastic. Uh, and so then we can just say index of, and then our header name, which in this case is resume. And so that should give us, let's just go ahead and log the index. And so actually we will, want, we will want to say plus one because index is different from uh, counting in a spreadsheet, right? So if we just went with the index, it would have given us column T because you start counting with zero in JavaScript, whereas within the sheet itself, they're referring to the number in the row. So here, let's log column num and just see what we get. And let's do log or log. Call, console log does work now since the update in January or whenever it was, but let's run this, make sure it's working so far. All right. 
Review permissions. We're going to trust ourselves since we're writing it. And what did we get? We should have a number here whenever it loads finally. 21. Cool. So that is the column number we are after. Very good. So now we want to iterate through and get each cell and convert it. So what we will do here is say, I want to know how many rows there are. So we'll say uh, report. Oh, well, I'll we'll just take this, right? Get last row. Here we'll say four bar i equals zero, or not zero, we're going to say one because we're starting with the row number we're after. And actually we're gonna say two because we're after the second row because we want to ignore the header. And i is less than rows i plus plus. So now we're iterating through the rows in our spreadsheet. And from here then we can say report get range again. We want the row we're after is going to always be i here. The column we're after will always be this variable, which in this case is 21. Now we want to use this, right? Which is not very well explicitly said, but we can say get rich text to value, which will get us like the full information out of the, out of the cell, even though it's not explicitly uh, documented that way. Get rich text value and for whatever reason getting rich text values doesn't work if we then also apply this method which is saying uh, get link URL I don't know why but it doesn't so now we have our link we've assigned it there and um, let's like Let's make sure that this was working properly, right? Test as we go so that we don't have headaches at the end. So we're just going to lock a couple of here. Let's run it. There we go. We have our links. Very good. So now we want to place those links somewhere, right? So we will say report, get range, row is going to be I, column now is going to be column. Uh, so where do we want to place this? We could put it in the column right afterwards since it's blank. And that's probably fine in most cases, but let's just go ahead and create a new column at the end. And so here we'll just grab the range again and say, um, Actually, we need to define we need to define what the last column is before we start iterating through this, and I'll explain why in a moment. So what we want to say is last call, and then we're defining what that last column is here. The reason we want to do that is just if we called this every time, it would start setting new columns every loop because the last column, if we're inserting a new column on every iteration, the last column is going to expand dynamically as we add it and that would be a mess so because we've already defined what that number is before we start the loop we can then pass that through then we can uh, say plus one which will be the next column after z in this case and set value and then that should be link right so let's run this test see if it works It did, and see, we added a new column. And now I wanna show you what would happen if you mess that up, right? So let's do it again. And now we should see another column, A, B, show up. We did, right? And so that's why we needed to define uh, that column prior. So let's just delete these two. Go back here, and now we can change this to rows. And we should be good to go. 
like this should handle it we can then just run our script and watch it run and now we have all of our links coming in very good so that's it um the only problem with this method is if you're doing thousands of cells um you might eventually hit a timeout because i think a script in google apps can only run for something like uh, 30 minutes now um so just keep that in mind but yeah hopefully this helps <laughs>